What's up everybody, Primo here bringing you another Let's Play today. We are playing The Walking Dead. I have not played this game in like years. I only played like the first episode, so I really want to finish it. And I hope you guys are interested in watching me play it. Because I heard it is a really good game. I plan on playing it like all the way through. Like every single episode and everything. You know, every single game. So we're, I'm looking forward to doing all of that. I also want to make an announcement. I do apologize for having not streamed in like two, three weeks now. And I've been having a lot going on. It's starting to die down a little bit, so I'm able to stream more. And I'll hopefully I'll be able to stream throughout the week like I normally would be doing. So we're going to see about that. But uh, let's get to it. For y'all, those of y'all that don't know, this is a game based off of the Walking Dead series. Like the TV show, but not really the TV show. It's kind of based off of like, I think like right before it happens, like right after, like right as the zombie apocalypse is starting to happen. But yeah, but yeah, it's really from what I heard, it was really good and everything else. All right. Oh. I like the way the art style looks at the game. It's a very, very, yeah, looks good. It's good. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Hmm. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And, and what, what do you say? say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. <laughs> I like how immersive this game can be sometimes. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. <coughs> a real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Mm. You wanna know how I see it? See, that should be a clear sign that something sure. is going on. You know what I'm saying? But I guess you people mind their business. Regardless, it could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> Riot. In progress. All That looks really bad. I see he's swatting everything else. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on. It does look a lot better than what it used to be. Cause I'm I've seen a lot of better, more detail. Behind a pair of smart folk glasses. It's kind of weird seeing how traffic wasn't here. traffic on this side is going faster than the traffic on that side. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property. And See, that's why we keep our eyes on the road. So he stops and having exhausted all his I options, remember, I remember exactly what's about to happen. For his mama, mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man, man, <laughs> not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed. 
stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Jeez. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for See, you. See, that's kind of weird. Little bit less depressing, a bit more oh, hilarious oh. if What's I do that? say so. Fucking drive. This other time. <laughs> The lesson we learned today is keep your eyes on the road, kiddos. Thirsty. That's Fuck. what you're worried about? <gasps> Alright. Let's see if I remember how to do certain stuff. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? Alright. Um. Oh, yeah. Hold up. I need to. Drag myself out that window. Sheesh. Okay, uh, let's, uh, I see this bullet over here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that, because, you know, seems kind of smart. Uh, that does not sound good, that is not at all. Alright, let's go look at this guy's body. I wonder how long was he out? This is the this is the mm -hmm. An attempt at a jump scare, huh? Alright, let's get these handcuffs off. See, that's the one thing I did understand about this game. You can always tell something's about to happen when like the little thing pops up in the corner. Alright. Yeah, this looks way better than it used to be. Let's go ahead and grab this. You motherfucker. Don't make me do this. Shit, I'm doing it now, fuck. Damn. They be like that sometimes. Someone! There, there's been a shooting! She was smart. How is he? 
They should have got his tail by now. <laughs> This is making, this is giving me bad anxiety. I hate stuff like this. Hello? Anybody? Hmm. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Huh. <laughs> Funny. <sighs> uh, let's just go in the house. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Coming in. Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. I'm one of them. It, it always feels. It always makes me feel weird when I play zombie games and they don't act like they don't know what a zombie is. Like, like I guess in their like little world that like, there's no such thing as a zombie. But come on, you're telling me that they don't have no type of like media where it's like a zomb like zombies or something like that. Jesus. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and cop. have it checked out. <laughs> anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks hmm. so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two. Left at... 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Oh yeah, we did say we was thirsty. Now let's get us a cup of, Message cup of three, water. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's a really sad note to hear. Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi. I kind of figure. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yeah, I'm not gonna yes. ask stupid questions I that I kind of already got the is. answer because we just wa How heard their voice now, so we kind of know I'm where her parents uh, are. Seven. Okay. Hello? Did they get you? 
I I'm sorry. I'm here. <clears throat> what? Where are your parents? They took a trip. Ah, uh, I forgot. Y'all can't really see what the top in Savannah, I think. Is. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Dang, no warning? She could have been like behind you or something. Damn, that's crazy. you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We should get the hell out of here. We need to find help before it gets dark. Right. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now, I hope, like, in a regular apocalypse, that's, you know, somebody would have the decency to look after the kids and stuff. Because, you know, I feel like people would just, some people would just, eh. Alright, now, like, we should just get out of here, you know. No use sticking around. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Well, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Mm. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? Cause no I, I would have liked to know if I was him. How did it that. get that? Bur like oh, Sean, this just happened. Sean, like maybe I would say like it's Clementine. been a couple of hours since that happened. How did? How are they Check. getting that jacked up already? We shouldn't be out in the open like this. I, I don't help know. Us clear the way. That's, That's just my opinion. I don't out know. Of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm just tell it guy. like it is. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? Tell it like it is. Ain't nothing I... wrong in this type of situations and stuff. The best the thing to do is be truthful. Go. Leave quick. Let's go. 
Let's go. Because the people don't trust you, you get out of the scene soon. Whew. Oh, shoot. And how come he couldn't do They couldn't do it? Like, I'm losing like a hurt leg and he couldn't do this? Why? For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. And quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. I mean, if I'm just okay. some guy, how would she know me? Well, Should've asked. Looks like you hurt know. your leg pretty bad there. I'm being petty. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. The hell he's shaking his head for? Yeah, this I is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? Before the car accident. Hmm. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Hmm. I didn't catch your name, darling. You say you and your daughter? Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come That's on. That's why I hate. I Tell hate. What you saw out like there, stuck man. up, like older. Let me see. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn. I hate help older people. That's like we gotta do it. Really. They're like real I stuck up in their ways. Okay. They don't wanna. Well, I'm all done mm -hmm. here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If you're late what did he exactly did he do? Doesn't go down. You're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? 
They'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Hmm. Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Get up. Mm. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, where you got her dad. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, <sighs> or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. You can't be the free and, uh, ride, what's you the know. Girl's name? Anybody Clementine. trying to Clementine. walk Clementine. and whatnot. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Alright, I think that's enough for this ep uh, not episode, but this part, you know, part one. If y'all like this series, I'm gonna put a poll over there. Just, you, you know, take a look hair. at it. Lots of and tell me if you know if you like this game or not if you want me to continue just give me a little yes or no and uh you know thank you for watching i will be streaming more often that's a without a doubt so also i might do another one in the comments seeing like you know other games i might want me to play like i have some games lined up that i got but you know i'd also like to hear from you know the you guys because this is for y'all obviously but you know but uh thank you and yeah pretty much thank you for watching